Hello Shopaholic Enthusiasts! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I post new videos, vlogs, and reviews of gadgets and luxury items we all love to buy from the market. Now this video is actually about the bag I recently finished. It's an art piece, the wearable art. I just came from a training and this is the bag I carried with me since my goal is just to take down notes from the training. I am only carrying a tablet, some of my everyday carry items. This is already the third installation of the wearable art series. I started with a wire painting, so I call it because it's just flat. Now, I'm not into welding. I'm not into uh, soldering. I actually trained to wrap these wires using pliers. Ever since high school, I've been fascinated with the imagery or the possibilities that this medium could actually do, not just for armature or a skeleton, what we usually use it for this evening after the training. Some of my co-associates saw this bag and they asked me where I actually bought it. I already posted a video of the time lapse how I made this bag and probably um, they haven't watched the video yet. So please, if you're watching, please watch the video and uh, I hope you enjoy the time lapse of how I actually made the bag. Without further ado, this is the bag that I actually carried with me in the training. is copper wire i weave this copper wires so i use two tones of copper wires then there's wood framing and there's the thing that actually makes this very solid is gi5 or galvanized iron so this is in the corners but i've yet to find something that could actually last um, a paint that could actually last the tarnish or the or protect the galvanized iron so I, I needed to find something to paint this with now I just bought this handle I immediately saw the stitching I thought it would be a good tone to unify the entire piece it's interchangeable I made it interchangeable because you can actually carry it two ways you can wear it either crossbody here, crossbody here, or you can remove the straps and carry it like this. When you're using it as a crossbody, the other side should face outside. If you're using it as a handheld, this is the side that's the face. That's the reason why. I designed it this way. The part that I like the most is this part where the D-rings and the bag meet. Now this is fairly difficult to work on because I needed to find a technique to attach the D-rings to the wooden part of the bag, wooden part of the frame of the bag, so that it would be sturdy enough to carry heavy stuff although you don't have the freedom to put a lot of things inside because this is just a fairly small bag now i decided to place the d-rings closer to this side because this side is closer to your body if it's actually placed at the center it would dangle more and it's a little bulky looking now let's see what fits inside the bag it just houses my everyday essentials like for example, my coin purse, my LD coin purse. And I also brought with me my power bank. Of course, you need extra power. It's already uh, evening. So I was already running out of um, power. My phone is almost dying at that time. So I needed to brought, uh, 
to bring with me my Anchor um, cheap wireless charger power bank. To some of you, this might be new because it's black. Now, this came with the Magic Mouse I, I bought years ago. I, d I decided to um, buy the black one. So, the, with the black one, the more expensive one, this is also black. Um, as compared to other um, lighting cables, it always came with the white variant. Now, I, this is very good because it's not, you know, it, it maintains its cleanliness. It's not to stain or be dirty for some periods of time. It's still black. I needed to bring with me my prescription glasses. So this is my Tom Ford uh, prescription glasses. I need to buy from another brand because they don't change lenses in LV. <laughs> but just to be uh, coherent with the entire um, line, this is the woody glass case from LV. Now another thing I brought with me is the bigger wallet. Now this is the main wallet. This is my Braza, um, LV Braza wallet in Eclipse. This is my first luxury purchase. So you already knew that I carry a lot of stuff with me, a lot of cards with me. So I needed to bring this one. Now I just have with me at that time two things. My alcohol spray and my powder. This is just a brush with powder. So that there's you know ease of use. And my water bottle. Um, all throughout the day, I teach, I coach, I mentor people. I you know answer calls so i always need something to clear my throat with so this is very very handy that's that so that's all it doesn't have any pockets inside i just placed um, the same material we see from the bag shapers and the organizers we buy from um, cinnamon from Rue Paradis. So this is actually the same material. I just bought this online and I, I did the stitching and I needed to have this to protect the pieces I'm, I'm to place inside because of the wires. They might uh, scratch um, the pieces that I'm carrying. In. This is just a charm from Pedro. This is from a bag I once used before I transition to LV. Now let's place everything back in order. Fast forward. There you go. I was hoping I could actually fit this in, but it's not very aesthetic because it is showing the top is showing so i just decided to hand carry this one so that will be all thank you for watching i hope you like this video i would be posting more videos of the artworks or the wearable art series that i made so stay tuned for that video thanks everyone see you next time bye